Hi YouTube, in this tutorial I will show you guys how to brute force domain users or Kerberos users using a tool called Kerberoot. Now before we get started there is one thing I want to make very clear. These tutorials are for educational purposes only. I'm making these tutorials to help you pass your cyber security certifications like OSCP etc. Now having said that, let's get started. So this is the GitHub page for Kerberoot in here. Once you can once you've said this, you can get the link to clone this repo. These are the files in this repo. And uh, in here, there's just a quick description of it. In here, you can see that it says a, it's a script that performs Kerberos brute forcing by using the Impacket library. Now, Impacket library is a super useful uh, library. If you don't know, Google it or just uh, put a comment in this comment section of this video, and I will give, give you guys some useful links. Related to, related to Impacket library. Now the installation, it's uh, very easy. You can install it using PyPy, this command, or you can just make a repo of this uh, GitHub repo in here. Just, sorry, you can just do a clone of this uh, repo here, uh, change it to that directory, and then install it. So in here, um, I've already done a repo of it. And uh, if I visit this directory in here and do an ls, so these are the files. Uh, so the instructions are very easy. It's given here. You can just uh, install it very easily. I have already done it. Now, if you're familiar with the hack the box, I will be using this tool on a, to, on, a uh, on a machine called Fuse from hack the box. So in here, uh, I've already done an nmap scan of it. So in here, this is nmap. The SC option in here, you can see it stands for default scripts. SV stands for the uh, version information. PS4 port 445 in here, so PS4 port number, and I'm scanning port 445, and this is the IP address of my target machine. So in here you can see that uh, it says port 45 is open, it services Microsoft DS, and the version in here, it's uh, Microsoft, it's uh, Windows Server 2016 Standard Edition. Now besides that, it gives us some other information like the name of the computer, it's Fuse, it's the host name, uh, the domain name in here, it gives us the fabricorp.local. So this is the domain name. I have already added these in my, uh, so in here, let's see, uh, I've already added this in my Etsy host file. So in here, you can see that I have already added this fabricorp.local in my uh, Etsy host file. So now let's get to the useful stuff. Now, when you type in kerbroot h it gives us a bunch of uh, options that you can use. It's the help for this tool called Kerbroot. So uh, for this one, I've already have a user a list of users. So cat uh, first, let me do this uh, list. So in here, I have already a file called users.txt in my current directory. Uh, so it has five users in it: P. Merton, T. Lavell, S. Thompson, B. Halt, and administrator. So I will be using these users, and I will check whether these users exist in the uh, Fuse machine or not, or in this target machine, which is the IP address of 10.10.10.193. So what we can do is, just we can type in Kerbroot, then the name of the domain. So the domain, as I sh uh, showed you guys, it's fabricorp.local. After that, we can do a... Uh, this is the, we use the users option and we give the file which is called users.txt. So when we press enter, it uh, tries to brute force these users, it tries to find whether those users exist or not. Uh, as I mentioned previously, it will be using this impacket library, a very useful library. Um, so what it will do is that it will this, uh, uh, this uh, library and it will try to brute force it. Now I am not getting any response. Let's see if I'm still connected to it. Yes, I'm connected. So it's uh, slow. Now it found out that uh, there is a valid user called P. Merton, and then there's T. Lavel, S. Thompson, B. Halt, and Administrator. They were all valid users on this domain. But if you do something else, like uh, let's just change this users.txt, and at the end, let's uh, add another user like nobody. And what we can do, we save it. We go, or let's just, run it in here again 
So this time all these users existed. So you are running it again. This time it, uh, if the user nobody exists, it will show. Otherwise, it will show that it doesn't exist. Now nobody in this server, it doesn't exist. Um, so in here we can see that it found the previous five users. So these were parts of the domain. Now the user that we created called nobody, it doesn't exist. So that's why it doesn't show it. Now this is how you can do it using files. But if you want to do it uh, using individual users, you can do that as well. So instead of users, just delete that, delete this part, and you can type some other thing like uh, behold. So it was a valid user. So if we enter, uh, it will show that it is available. So in here you can see that it says valid user behold. So if you do something like uh, instead of behold, like lazy tutorials, so in here you can see that no passwords are discovered. So in here it means that we don't have this user called lazy tutorials on this machine. So this is a way that you can use to brute force uh, domain users using Kerbrut, Kerbrut tool in here, very useful tool. Uh, so this is it for this one, guys. If you have any questions, any suggestions or recommendations, please feel free to put it in the comment section below. And if you found this tutorial useful, make sure to share it with your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one.